So, well no common situation. Wonderful weather, everybody is going to spend their time on vacation, and you have an exam. So you're trying to do your best, but you cannot remember the correct answer. Everything is of no use. It's only getting worse. The student was reading books about memory, he was taking notes, he was listening to lectures, but nevertheless he could not pass his exam. Why? Most recent studies on psychology of memory can help us clarify this. The student made some mistakes in encoding of information. So let us take a look at what of some common mistakes in preparing for the exam are. You are in the middle of a party and suddenly you remember that soon you will have to explain to your professor how your memory works on the exam. You try to read a book, but you just don't pay attention. You will fail. A common picture. Three days before the exam. You already understood it's time to study. You open the book and take a highlighter. You look through the text and try to border with color most important places in the text, but you scarcely read it. You just point out visual cues. You don't process the information, you won't remember it. Two days left. If you don't start now, you won't get it. The book is open, your eyes trace the text, your mouth whispers abstracts and paragraphs about the memory and its mechanisms. You close your eyes and repeat what you just read, line after line, chapter after chapter. And only a small part of that comes to your head on the exam. Did that ever happen to you? So, we'll give you a number of tips to get through the process. Start by organizing the information. You may use visual cues, but don't get carried away. Define structure. Point out the most important facts and draw its semantic relations with other facts. Make a scheme. And most importantly, imagine what it means to you personally and in what situations you can use it. I can see you're a very devoted student. Would you like to work at my laboratory? <laughs>